Hello once again. I'm from a beautiful evening here in Japan. It's around 5.30 in the evening. And today we have another lovely FJ cruiser. Um, and these have been and are very popular, so the hard thing is finding the ones that tick the boxes that are suitable for the UK. Um, this is a 2017 March, uh, yeah, 2017 March with 63,000 miles. It came from a Toyota dealer and uh, it's just a really nice car. So let's take a look. It's got a, a lot of little things about it which make it a bit different. Um, it does have the uh, optional front bumper fog lights. It also has a nice front grill guard. The, um, the owner of this one has put a matte black grill uh, in place of the usual silver colored one. Kind of matches the car, I think. And it has the Toyota dealer option roof rack. Has big off-road. I think they're good rich tires all around. And uh, I'll show you in a later. There is uh, we do have some 20-inch dealer Toyota dealer option wheels as well. And the car, as advertised, comes with these ones. And if you want something else, we can discuss it. And also, he has a thing he's added which is a kind of smart um, little aerial instead of the usual very tall screw-in one okay. going down here as I say the uh, tires are all very good and the alloys and in the back we have spare this one comes with the camera we have camera Again, it's an option on this car. Of course, rear parking sensors, which is very useful when a car is big. And for those who are not familiar with the car, the um, the uh, this window pops open, but you have to insert the key and then hold it, turn it to the right, and hold it for a couple of seconds. It releases the glass window. That way you can just have access, or if you've got a dog or dogs in the back, they can enjoy some nice air. Probably not wise to drive with it open. Anyway, we, we, uh, the Prado has the same feature, which is useful sometimes if the dogs are in the back and you just stop for a little park and they can, they can sit there and uh, have the, uh, the air. It comes with a a kind of cute little magnetic cover for the lock. Oops, it's locked. Another lock. Okay. Let's go take a look. Huh? Was it locked? Oh, I don't know. There we go. It's been a long day. Um, as you can see, nice clean boot area. Of course, those seats go flat. Nice, clean headlining. And this one, they put on an additional reverse light. In fact, they, they originally took the bulbs out of these, or the bulb housings out of the, the original um, reverse lights, but we will replace those, so you're gonna have you will have three reverse lights. Okay. So again, 2017 March, 63,000 miles, which is about 103,000 kilometers, I believe. 102, I'm not sure. Okay. Again, pretty good tires. And and as you can see here is a set of uh, dealer option 20 inch 
rims. These are for the FJ. So if you would prefer to have road tires, or you'd like to have a set of each uh, for the off-road, because this is lifted. This is, has a, a small lift on it with, um, gosh, I forget the details. Anyway, it's been lifted and uh, we we have the original springs uh, the, so they'll come with the car so you can choose what you want to do whether you want to keep it lifted or you want to just to um, uh, put it down to the uh, original height obviously for off-road the additional height is is rather useful okay Let's take a look inside. He comes with yeah. Comes with the original keys. It is a one owner car. I think I have mentioned that. Maybe I did. It's a one owner car from a Toyota dealer. And it comes with two remote keys, one spare key, and a working engine starter. This guy put a lot of different things on it. Okay, open the door, and yeah, some really fun cars. We, as I've said before, we we had one. We actually we just changed it. We uh, we had one in South Africa, the house in South Africa, and uh, we clocked up to two hundred and ten thousand kilometers. I think we just changed it for the Land Cruiser in South Africa. These cars are fantastic. But my son has two kids that are growing up, and he kind of is a bit small in the back. It comes with the um, these rubber mats, which are there again a dealer option, rather than the uh, the carpets. I mean, we can get the carpets if you prefer. Those things are possible. Yo, gotta climb into the seat. Yo, somebody has put the seat rather close. Okay. So, so yeah, it comes with a full set of keys and spare keys. Maybe you can see the mileage. How are you on the page, Mas? And excuse me, dear. Okay, so you can see 102,200 kilometers, which is the equivalent of 63,000 miles. So oh, thank you. Oh, okay. She just saying you've got Bluetooth if you use it. And starting it up, and with the exception of the petrol light, uh, we've lost all the. Uh, Morning lights. And what have we got? It's a little bit dark in here, sorry. But up here we've got this is a very nice feature. You don't get it on very many of these. And this is it's got the uh, sorry, I thought I turned the volume off. Okay. And you've got the um, the diff lock controls here and the A track controls. Yeah, normally they're down. Those are down with this uh, buttons here. But this one also has the hill climb uh, speed control as well, which uh, only comes with this feature, this roof feature, which is, I would imagine, very useful. Um, and uh, yeah, yeah, the Land Cruisers also have that. And he's also put in some very nice speakers. Uh, he's changed all the speakers. I think there's six of them in the car. And he's upgraded the sound system, which is another nice feature. He's also put these rather nice FJ Cruiser big knobs on. Whatever. And you've got all your books. Yeah, all your books in here. And yeah, it's just very clean. Of course, as you will know, you've got the side some visors as well as the front ones uh, yeah 
I think that's the basic features. You've got audio controls right here. And you've got cruise control here. Um, yeah. Oh yeah, you can see the reverse camera. Nice clear, nice clear image. Yep, just very clean interior. Okay, it's warm in here. Let's just get pull the button. Yeah, so it's got some. Yeah, that's why because it's it's lifted. Normally they're not that difficult to get in and out, but this one is lifted. Yeah, it's a lift up. And here's your engine. It's a four liter V6. Uh, here's another feature too is the um, a TRD airbox here. That's rather an expensive option. Um, if you, you can look it up. I, I th in Japan, I th they're about, eh, about 600 pounds, I think. So he's, yeah, he's done a few very nice things to the car. As mentioned, it's a one owner. Um, it's, um, and he's just, um, he was uh, previously uh, literally just uh, sold it to Toyota, or traded it in literally two weeks ago, three weeks ago. Let's have a look at the auction sheet. Right, here we are. It's from TAA. A, it's a Heisei 29, so 2017, March, 102,000 kilometers, 63,000 miles. Grade 4B, that's the exterior, C is the interior. Remember, as I always say, this is from a Toyota auction. Toyota auctions use more than one person checking the car. Literally every other auction only uses one checker. Toyota <coughs> use two or even three and the auction grades are there's an algorithm the computer spits out the grade so it's um okay and you can see it's not left up to some individual to decide literally nothing a1 b1 i mean there's nothing on there and the tires are going to this auction sheep say they're practically new 8888 it's very rare to see that um, just there again, just a really nice car, and uh, we've done a history search with the transport department just to absolutely check because actually on the auction sheet, Twitter, they don't bother, they don't bother to mention anything about the one owner or anything, and also um, coming from Toyota, coming from any dealers, main dealers, they do not give you the previous history this one probably had a very nice service history but they just don't do it they um they throw them away it's um i think it's something to do with privacy which is a pity but uh, that's their policy anyway this uh, you can see there's the chassis number to show that it's the same car as the auction car and this next sorry we'll translate a little bit of this and send this with the with the um Paperwork, so you can have this. Um, here you've got the original date of um, registration to the first owner, 2017 March 31st, and then here you've got the date uh, uh, that um, Toyota took the car from the first owner. That's 2020, 2024 March 27. So um, it's, there is only one registered user, which is Mr. Whoever that is. So, um, so um, yeah. So this document uh, proves it. That uh, the um, um, yeah. it also shows you the, the mileage um, over the last four years. So there you have it. Yeah, it's 
It's a really nice one. We've, we've had some very, very nice ones. This one's definitely one of those. I, mean, I think all the ones we've had are nice, but some have a little bit more of an edge. But this one's kind of nice because it's got a, a lot of little features that are additional. As I say, if you are interested, we can discuss the uh, the 20 inch um, dealer option road wheels as well. So again, 2017 March with 62,000 miles, um, FJ Cruiser. Uh, also don't forget it's got the um, the uh, roof controls for the uh, for the diff and everything and the uh, hill climb. So yeah, if this is something that interests you, please do talk to Paul and uh, a JA and he can guide you through the process of buying it and we can uh, get it shipped to you. So thanks always for watching and uh, bye for now. We are a UK-based personal car import agent trading since 2004. We have a proven track record supplying thousands of Japanese cars direct from Japan to customers throughout the UK. Working as your appointed agent for a fixed commission, we provide a four-step personal car import service. This is an opportunity to cherry-pick and safely buy the best high-grade, low-mileage cars direct from Japanese car auctions at export trade prices for personal import to the UK. You will make large savings on UK retail prices while buying the best quality cars available in Japan. It's a genuine win-win opportunity. Before the auction starts, background checks and hands-on inspection are carried out by the Japanese staff. Under Japanese law, any accident history or mileage discrepancy must be declared by the auction and shown on the auction report. The truth is the best cars normally stay in Japan. They are bought by Japanese dealers for resale because the best cars will pass a strict Japanese roadworthy test, known as a shaken. Shaken failures are seen in Japan as fits for recycle or export. Many turn up in the UK without the auction port to maximize the dealer's profit margins. So it's vital to see a genuine translation of the auction report before the sale starts. Once we have found a particular car, we next arrange our hands-on inspection to confirm the condition matches the auction report and take a large number of photos. Keep in mind we are not car dealers buying and selling for profit. Why supply bad cars? When it's just as easy to supply a great car from the fountain of supply and simply keep adding to our long-established superb track record. Check out our customer reviews or head to our YouTube channel found on our website to see the quality of the cars we supply. To learn more, pick up the phone and speak to us direct without obligation. Ask for Paul. Telephone 01625 560 or on mobile 07989 560 Our email sales at japautoagent.com.